Hey there, Sonic Dash 24 here with another tutorial for RPG Maker 2003. In this tutorial, I'm going to be explaining how tile sets and chipsets work. In other words, the, like the map elements and everything, such as you know the terrain and chairs and stuff. Um, before I start, I want to say on a certain note that I do not know exactly how you create tile sets or chipsets or map pieces. Um, I never exactly messed with them before, and I only used the default ones for some other ones that were downloaded off the internet from the website. So I'm going to be showing you exactly what I know so far, so I can try to help. Now, to um, to start off, what we got here is we're going to go to um, we're going to go to tools and go to database, and if you go to tile sets, this pretty much just shows your whole your whole maps and everything. Now, I believe that one through five are the default ones, and then um, you can add your own custom ones if you want. Right here, I have a few other custom ones right here, and they pretty much just represent part of um, some of the game that I already have going on. Now, to pretty much explain to you what we got here, I'll start with the regular one right here. So, the, as you can see right here, the first one right here is the number. First one right here, ignore the number. First one right here is the um, water animation, which it shows for, for the C. This is like the icy plains animation, deep sea, waterfall, a whirlpool, and some kind of, I guess that's some full vertex thingy. Alright, well anyways, um, this is pretty much what it is. Passability, it just tells you what you can pass through. Like here on the grass, there's a circle so you can go through it. X is on the water, so you can't pass through that. Um, let's see, square, I do not know exactly what the square is yet, I think that is that you can pass through it at a certain point so I'm not really sure. Star, I don't know what that means either yet but if you need help just go to the help file on RPG Maker and it should be able to tell you. Alright, so X's, no pass, O's, uh, you can't pass. Directional pass is somewhat the same as passability but you can uh, change like the area of the um, tile where you can pass by. So for example I have this grass part. If I wanted to make it so that I can walk into it but not like go around it, I could put take off the arrows and make a square so that we can walk into it like going up but you can't go left to right so you have to walk back down but of course it's wide open grass so we're going to keep that like a normal otherwise if you want to set it yourself then go ahead so that pretty much explains that right here you just have the water animation and all that you know if we go back to editing mode and we go back to terrain right here um, the numbers represent the area in the game the terrain area in the game where you fight um, where you fight the monsters or bosses and stuff now, for example, nine. Nine represents what's the the beach area. Nine represents the beach area, and nine represents the same thing. But I guess I probably mess with mine a bit. Mess with mine a bit. So we'll just skip that. One represents the plains. So right here it says plains, and if you go to the rain tab right here, you have all the terrain and all the areas and the places where you battle and fight. Now, I already made a little bit of custom ones, such as um, this dimension, the lava wasteland, and the cyber world. So, pretty much that's what it represents right here. The numbers represent the areas where you fight. So, if you go to tile set, and all your terrains are listed right here. If you say, like, for example, you want to change the plains area to be in the forest. Usually, the two would be this little tree right here represents the forest, like one of those other Final Fantasy um, RPGs and stuff. But if you want to change that to like a forest, all you gotta do is just click the number right here and then click the tile you want to change it to and that way you'll get it set so that way when you walk in the grass, you'll be fighting in the forest terrain. Or if you just wanna make it, you know, somewhat crazy, you could be fighting in the snowy plains and just mark that as number seven. Click number seven right here, snowy plains, and push the tile and you'll be fighting there. So that'll pretty much that pretty much explains how the terrain and the areas work. Now for installing now for installing um tile sets that's a little bit different. Apologize for going over our order. So go to the resource manager, click on chipset, import, and it should be on the desktop open. And just open it up, that should be okay. So it's now it should be imported. So now I'll get back to where we were. So go to the database. All right. So now let me fix this again. Up by one. Okay. Uh, oops. There we go. Tower. And we're gonna look for the file set. The chipset that we had. Oops. Wrong one. This is another one from another deck. Uh. Nope. No. 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 No.
this is it right here okay so yeah this is it okay so this is pretty much it now as far as I can tell the area looks like it's okay but you just gotta modify the heck out of it because as you can see the default ones are already set for you in the regular areas but isn't uh, but in when you upload new one you gotta configure everything now what you need to pretty much do is that you need to look at the areas and where they are so like for example the terrain areas and the terrain in the game what you'll have to do is you gotta go to tile set and you gotta look right here and see what you're gonna go against so you may have to set the game for different events now i believe that rpg maker already has some other terrains in the game that are already set but you just gotta create them and make them so just a ray of size now this it looks like a whole dungeon place so i'm just gonna make a new one real quick and call this one let's see dungeon and i'm gonna let's see no damage plus sound effects nothing now for the background i gotta set that change the background I'm looking for the dungeon area. No, no. Here we go. This looks like a it. So this will be it. And no airship, no skiff, no sprite display is okay. And that's pretty much okay. So I'm going to apply that and say alright. Now go back to tile set. Now you got dungeon, which is the one that's made. So that's we're going to click this, and that'll be number 14 for our tile set. Now for, no, for right here it says plane so we're just going to keep that as the same one but pretty much you get the idea. You just got to pretty much customize and just get everything configured the way it's supposed to be. Passability, of course you understand that. Well, you can't walk on water unless you try to make some other type of event or something so be my guest if you want to mess with it. And uh, the floors and stuff you'll have to figure out what's a floor and what's not a floor. You'll have to pretty much determine what it is so I would suggest that all these are probably what you can walk on. And these kind of look like walls. I don't really know because I haven't put these on a map yet. So, like I said, you'll have to experiment and test what, test it out. Directional pass, almost the same thing as possibility. It's just pretty much modify what you can and can walk on or through. So I'll just mess with that. And upper layer is a little bit more simpler, I believe. Um, these look like walls, so you just put X's on them. And that looks like a gate and everything. And there's um, other spots right here, like this arch doorway. I can see this is part of it right there. So, a directional pass and just mark where you can walk. You can walk over there. You can walk there. You can walk in the air. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, can't walk up. Oops, no. And kind of like that way. So, so you just pretty much have to set everything the way it is. It's going to be tedious as heck, but you just got to set it all up. I would suggest doing passability first and then messing with the direction of the pass because as you can see if I mark these with X's right here and I switch over the directional pass it already has a dump where you can't just walk on it at all so passability then directional pass. As for counter flag I really don't know what this is for because I never exactly mess with tile sets like I said before and I don't know what it's for so like I said resort to the help file in order to figure out exactly what it is because I'm still learning myself I just know a lot so far to get me through so pretty much that's it with town sets and if you've done configuring a town set all you gotta do is head over to uh, just go to the game make a map for whatever it is so I'm just gonna make a new map real quick so bam. here we go real quick map map tower just an just example tile set select tower and then you'll have to set the other settings and stuff if you want and set ok and this will pretty much be the whole mapping area so if I want to decorate it just just like something so real quick the lower floors now let me try this out real quick yeah, for the looks of it that the floors have the priority fix yeah, I think that I think that this map set that I have right here may need to be fixed a bit. It looks okay. I probably just have to configure a lot more stuff on it. But yeah, it all works. Um, yeah, so I'm just pretty much testing it on to see how it all looks like, and it seems like it's all right. So this is the lower floor. It's the floors and stuff. We got the regular obstacles and everything. So this all works. You just pretty much gotta decorate it and fix it all like if you need to.